Feeling like just to get a chance to, you know, a couple of days to release it up and play a game. It's exciting, man. We, uh, you know, it's been, like you said, been a long time. And uh, for me personally, it's just finding ways to get better. And, uh, you know, over the off season, there is ways to get better after the season I had. You know, it's working on hang time, working on ball placement, it's distance, and then just obviously working with the team and trying to build that team connection and, and bonding with the new guys in the specialist room too. It's gone now, but how cool was it a couple weeks ago to see that banner of you and Jonah up? It was really cool. That was, uh, yeah, it was a special moment for me and him, and um, yeah, for myself personally, it's pretty cool to see that, and it only motivates me to keep going. How cool is it, just in general, you know, kind of the the fandom you guys have? You know, it's something that most college football teams around the country, you know, they don't have for their punter and kicker. Yeah, that's what makes it so special. It's um, you know, unheard of for a specialist to be on the side of a stadium, which is pretty damn cool. So uh, yeah, I you know take pride in that, and uh, yeah, it only fuels me. You're doing the twenty dollars to the punter in the twenty. Just tell us how that came about and what it means to you. Yeah, it's just uh, something really special to me. It's uh, my mum actually came down with breast cancer about two years ago, so you know it's something I wanted to do and, and give back to the community. And you know what better way to do that? And and yeah, how's she doing now? She's good. She's um cancer free. She'd hate for me to say that, but yeah, she's doing really well. She's um, stayed strong and went through chemo and everything, so she's doing really well at the moment. How, how, how did the idea of it come up? I guess so, like. Twenty dollars inside of twenty, like that. How how did it all come up? I suppose. Originally, a couple of years ago, a punter that I knew from TCU actually did something similar. So, had that idea floating uh, for the last year or so. So, yeah, I thought I'd jump on that and do that this season. So, how much uh, how much money you got set aside here for uh, punts are going to drop inside the twenty this year, man? Hopefully, every punt. So, <laughs> we'll see. Is, is that literally twenty bucks going to come out of your pocket every single time? And yep. Are you want any kind of a and it'll be like back home maybe, you have to go back home to get it, but like you're a college student, right? Yeah. 20 bucks times whatever is a big number. It is, but you know, that's something I'm willing to do and, and wanting to do for my mom and, and spread awareness too. So um, yeah, NIL is a big, not issue at the moment, but something for international students, it's, it's kind of challenging at the moment to, uh, you know, have to be feet back in Australia to sign deals and do that. So it's challenging, but it is what it is. In the first 24 hours, it seems like you got some, a couple, at least a couple of significant matches. Yeah, it's been awesome to see. It, uh, it blew up on Twitter last night, and um, yeah, a few people are, are matching the deal, which is pretty cool to see. Who is a good TCU punter you got the idea from? Geordie Sandy. You guys close? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. Have you guys talked about this kind of deal? I don't know, or was it just kind of something you got from him? Yeah, just something I picked up. I haven't really spoken to him much. I trained with him maybe once or twice back home in Australia. So, um, yeah, just something I, I grabbed from him. When are they going to make it? I know they went on like, the tour, right, of all over the United States or whatever. When, when are they going to make it back over here uh, this year? They start in Hawaii. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're living pretty good. They're going to come over for two months and then, uh, yeah, start in Hawaii and then just follow the team around wherever we're, we're going. Hawaii. Just talk about the the relationship that you know you have with Jonah and Mason, and you know I know you know not they're not here today, but other interviews you've done, they've been here. When one of them do interviews, you know you all you all come together. Just kind of what's that relationship been like? Yeah, I mean that kind of speaks for itself. It's um it's very tight even outside this facility where you know we're best mates. So it's um you know me and Jonah I've obviously have that really good connection of me holding, and then you know me and Mason too with him snapping the ball and have full trust in those guys to you know, do our jobs and then we compete in everything we do too. So whether it be basketball, volleyball, whatever it is, we're always competing and making each other better and, you know, that only tightens our bond together too. We, yeah. talk, we talked about the possibility of you, you know, winning the Ray, Ray Guy, but to do the double, to have you win the Ray Guy, to have Jonah get uh, the Lou Groza, you know, what would that mean to you guys? Uh, that'd be awesome. Um, you know, that's everything for us and that's our goal is to come away with those things. But again, you can't set your season on that. Um, that's not our goal. Our goal is to do our team job and, and do the best for our team, put our, our team in the best situation. So, um, you know, those awards will come at the end of the year and you can't focus on that because then your job will get away from you. On the road in week one, how important is special teams play, you know, in an opener like this? It's everything, just setting the, the standard for the year and, and setting our team up for the best opportunity. You know, if things aren't going on, on offense, you know, we've got to pin them deep, you know, punt situation or field goal and get points on the team and build that momentum. So it's it's very important. Anything different about kicking in that type of weather? Even no, it's um, it kind of helps. You just stay warm the, the whole time on the sideline. So it actually kind of helps my body. Um, you know, when it's cold, it's, you know, up in Wyoming, when it's snowing, it's kind of hard to keep going every every drive. So uh, yeah, it'll it'll help. Is humidity a thing in Australia? It's been a while since I've been there, but it's mostly dry heat. It's mostly dry, yep. yeah. So it, I didn't remember. Yeah, a little bit different. Yeah.